This restaurant has since apologized to her. They say they're happy to talk to her now about possible employment. But she is speaking out so women and employers learn the law. Lindsay Wilcox is expecting a baby and bills. Looking for part-time work, that's what it was, so why not apply? On Tuesday, she sent her resume on Facebook to the Reese Cliff Family Diner. Screenshots she provided show they responded by asking her to come in for an interview. She said yes, but warned that she'd had a hard time getting hired elsewhere because she's pregnant. She asked, is that okay? The response was, no, thank you. I can do just as much as... Anyone else can. After her outraged boyfriend posted a screenshot on social media, it went viral. Lindsay says the restaurant responded to angry commenters by posting her resume on their page to insinuate she wasn't qualified. It was definitely a huge invasion of my privacy, of my previous employers, where I went to school, so what town I used to live in, where I'm from. Employment attorney Raul Valles cites both state and federal laws in saying employers can't make judgments on pregnancy status, just like race, religion, or disability. Employers who do otherwise can be sued for potential wages, back wages, and emotional damages. An applicant should be able to expect that the person interviewing them is going to take the fact that they are pregnant and put it aside. After all the attention, restaurant owner James Bronkhorst offered sincere apologies to Lindsay, saying the employee who wrote to her was not authorized to. He said they will be reprimanded and educated on proper procedures. Lindsay made one final point that should make a prospective mother even more appealing to an employer. A working parent is going to work 10 times harder than a 16-year-old kid that's going to call out on a Friday night and go party. In his statement, the, the owner also said that had he been made aware of Lindsay's pregnancy, he would have spoken to her directly and talked to her about opportunities at the restaurant. He also said they have followed employment law for 16 years. Lindsay tells me she is no longer interested in working for them, but she is going to keep looking for part-time work.